Hello everyone, welcome back to Industrial Vision Camera Series. Today I will show you how to emulate on the PC. This is the solution for everyone. No need a physical sensor or, se or the camera. Firstly, we open the Inside Explorer. And next, we enable the emulator. Can we come to the system menu. Option. Come to the tab. Emulation. Tick enable the use emulator. Select the model of the of the sensor or the camera here. I select a vision sensor IS two thousand dash two hundred thirty. With the uh, resolution is six hundred forty multiplied with uh, four hundred eighty. Next is registration. The offline programming with preference is fixed string for each PC. And offline programming key, we need to register on the Cognet website. Then we click on apply and OK. Then in the tab inside network here, we have an inside sensor. Here. Yeah. We double click and we will see the name of this PC. Then double click on it, the EC Viewer up here will be shown. And now we already connected to a sensor model IS2230 as an emulator. Now we come to program in the EC Viewer. The first step, we get in connected. It's done. Yeah, it's done. The green line here, it means the connected is done. The second step, click on the setup image. Firstly, I will talk about the, the tab trigger here. The trigger defines the stroke of the image acquisition trigger when the vision system is online. We have some uh, a uh, tie option here. The first one, camera, is default. It's enable image acquisitions on a rising edge, since at the vision system dedicated acquisition trigger input. And the second thing, uh, the second option is continuous. Enable free running as fast as possible image acquisitions. And the next one, external. Here don't have uh, external. Maybe some uh, some model will have will have the external. And the next one manual. It's enable image acquisitions when pressing F five. And the final one industrial internet. It's enable triggering from an industrial internet protocol such as Internet IP, PowerLink, Profinet. SLMB scanner or CC link IE field basics. Okay. And the next is mean a trigger delay. The unit is a millisecond. It's a specify a delay in millisecond from 0 to 10,000 between the time the trigger is received and the time the vision system begin the Acquisitions and please note that the trigger control must be reset, must be set to either camera or the network to enable this function. The delays is accurate to the requested milliseconds, plus or minus the maximum light exposure last time. If acquisition start or stop, either specify signal type in the input output step. This output will be delayed by a specified time. And the last setting in the trigger tab here is trigger interval. Specify an interval in milliseconds from 0 to 10,000. And default, we will, uh, default when we connect the, to the physical camera or the vision is 500. Between the acquisitions, when the trigger control is set to continuously, continuous, 
this delay it depend on the amount of time the job takes to complete the processing of the image. For example, if delay parameter is set to 5000 milliseconds, the vision system acquires an image every 5000 milliseconds. Provide the job complete is image processing within 5000 milliseconds. It's been uh, 5 seconds. If not, the, in, the inside vision system acquires uh, an image as soon as it's complete the processing the image. Okay, so it's done for the tab trigger. Now we come to the tab lighting. We have some settings here. Firstly, I talk about the auto exposure. Automatically determine the exposure after X acquisitions. This option has to compensate for the incon inconsistent lighting condition, such as reflection from shining metal surface, variable shadows, and background lighting change. Auto exposure is disabled by default. And the next option is the manual exposure. Set an, a fixed exposure value to use for every image ac uh, acquisitions. Manual exposure is enabled by default. To disable, just check on the auto exposure here. And the next setting is about the target image brightness. It allows you to specify a desired brightness level from 0 to 100 and before is 50. By adjusting the, the handle or by entering a value in the corresponding edit box, here yeah, we can adjust. Uh, we can change the, the number here. For example, 80. For example, 80. The value is a percentage of the pixel in the exposure region. That's allowed to be saturated. You can also move the handle by using a round key. Yeah. And the next setting, exposure. The exposure control determine the duration of exposure when an image acquires from 0 to 1000 milliseconds default is, uh, default is 0 0.25 the highest exposure value the price the brighter the acquired is missed this control is visible when auto exposure is selected And the next setting is light intensity. Allow you to specify the effective intensity of the LEDs in percentage from 0 to, to 100. The default is a 70. Off is equal to 0. We can like we can uh, adjusting the handle or by entering a value in the corresponding edit box. The line intensity will be set with the job. The value background showing the maximum line intensity value available for the current settings. The maximum light intensity value vary this uh, this uh, depending on the other image setting such as target image brightness, exposure, image area height, or image magnification mode. And the uh, maximum value is displayed when the hovering over the slide control. Because uh, now we use the emulator, so we cannot adjust this value. And the next one, Set reason. 
define the reason to use when automatically calculating the exposure. First, we click on the exposure reason here. Position of reason around the image area that is the sensor will use to determine the automatic exposure to you for the next acquired image. And then click on the OK. Now we don't have the, the, the picture here. The exposure will, will be calculated automatically based on the brightness of the image area within the exposure region. For example, if the image area within the exposure region is bright, brighter than the rest of the image, then the next acquired image will be darker. And the next setting is about the op, uh, optimal exposure. Automatic the exposure value. The same exposure value will be used for its subsequent image acquisitions. And the next setting is line control mode. On exposure, enable the right the ring light to be on only for the duration of the exposure. When disable off. The light will be power off and the sensor will be dependent on the ambient room lighting. So that's all for the dark lighting. So now we come to the image. The first thing image area height is define the number of the image routes to acquire to reduce the image acquisition time. When the the area of interest is always limited to the same the bank of rails within the image. You can define the value by moving the left and right handle or by entering a value of in the corresponding edit box here. You can see when we adjust here the size of the image here. The image, sense, uh, the image area will change. Okay. And the uh, image magnification mode. Is then enable the image magnific uh, magnificent mode when enable the the field of view. It it reduce by 50% while the optical resolution is increased by 200% Next, calibration type This allows you to convert or calibrate the inspection tools from pixel into real world units of measurement There are two options Field of view and import but now we use the emulator, so we don't have the inbox here. The next one, the field of view or the width. It converts the result of the measurement tool from pixel into the real world unit of measurement, like millimeter, centimeter, or inch. Okay, we have some uh, the unit here. This is the emulation. So we will load the image from PC that I capture from the sample. Click on the lost image from PC and select the playback folder to get the image. Okay, the picture appear here. But one important thing is about the resolutions of the image. We need to adjust 
the resolution of the image before lost to the inside explorer. If we use a physical camera on the sensor, we don't need to do that because uh, the image are captured by the sensor or the camera directly. And for the emulation, we just take the image from uh, another capturing device and lost here. So, we will not have standard resolution. And how we know what is the standard resolution? We can see on the the uh, model of the vision sensor on the camera manual uh, user. Or uh, easier, we can uh, we just come to the system here. Option emulation here and see the model we are emulating. For example, here I select the model is IS two thousand dash two hundred and thirty, and the resolution here is six hundred forty multiplied with four hundred and eighty. So. We need to adjust the resolution we have and uh, okay and in the computer or the PC or laptop we have some we have many tools to do it one easy tool is using the paint paint here we can use paint app and uh, like oh, we, we resize Okay, I already repaired some image with a standard resolution for IS two thousand and 